Where's Mickey? Shh. Is that joining us? Where's Mickey? There, I got it. Okay. All right, I'm going to mute you now, Dan. All right, welcome everybody. So, we were going to do something at the beginning, but for now you can either start seated, easy cross of your legs, your legs can be extended in front of you, you can lie down completely on your back. It's entirely up to you how you want to begin conscious breathing. So take a moment and get settled in. And once you're there, eyes can be open or closed, and begin conscious breathing. Simple awareness that you're breathing. As you notice your inhale and your exhale. Inhaling, feeling the length of your body. Exhaling as you let go. Continuing the breath, inhaling, feeling your body open up from the center to the outer edges. And as you exhale, releasing and softening something. Continuing the conscious breath, inhaling. Maybe feel the length through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, letting go of the shoulders, softening. And take three more conscious breaths here, just allowing yourself to settle in, feeling your body breathe, inhaling, opening, exhaling, and releasing. And notice one more. Simple awareness of breath. As you bring a hand to your belly and a hand to your chest, continuing in conscious breath, use your hands to feel how your body is inhaling, noticing their movement. And the same when you exhale, What's happening when you exhale? Inhaling, feeling movement, exhaling, noticing that movement. With your next inhale, notice the hand at your belly as you inhale. Is it moving out or is it moving in? And as you exhale, bring your attention to the hand at the belly and noticing if it's moving in or it's moving out. Inhaling, see if the hand at the belly will move out first. Full diaphragmic breath. And as you exhale, can you feel the hand softening at your belly towards the spine and releasing the belly in and the chest. And as you continue to consciously breathe, feeling yourself breathe, inhaling, opening up, and exhaling, letting go. Three more conscious breaths here, just allowing that awareness of the breath. And one more, inhaling, maybe feeling your hand at your belly move away from the spine first. And as you exhale, softening the belly as you're releasing it back in towards the spine. And gently remove your hands, soften your arms down by your side. So you can stay here if you're laying down. We'll just do arm raises here, palms face forward or up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach the arms out wide by your sides. Keep your arms on the floor if it's available for you. All the way up, 
You can take a gaze up at the ceiling or your hands. Exhale, carry the arms down with control by your side. Good. Two more. Just let some movement happen, inhaling. This time, begin to notice are you lifting your ribs up by your shoulders? Gaze can move up and exhale as the arms come down. Do you feel how your ribs descend? Good. One more time. This time, see if you can keep your ribs down. As you inhale, feel the length maybe to the outer edges of your body at the armpit even. Gaze is up. Exhale, arms down, keeping the ribs down and engaged all the way. Good, good, good. Okay, shake that out, let it go. So lateral bend. If you're staying on the floor, that's fine. You can just lateral bend to the right. So palms face forward. Inhale as you reach your arms out wide and up. Look up. Exhale the right hand down only. So if you're slaying down, I think everybody's sitting up now, so I'll just ignore that. Inhale, lift to the left side. Exhale over to the right. So when you press down into your right hand, press into the right hand, but see if you can lift out of the left rib cage. At the same time, continue to press down through the left hip. Good. Notice two more breaths here. And one more. Inhale brings you up through center. Look up at the right arm and exhale left arm all the way down. So once you bring the left hand down, press into the hand. As you press down through the left hand, see if you can lift through the right rib cage. And then push down through your left butt cheek as you continue to reach out of your fingertips. And breathe. So by doing it this way, you will keep the left side and the right side active. Good, one more breath here. Excellent, inhale, bring you all the way up, both arms up, look up, exhale, twist to the right, lower your right hand behind you. Feel free to put a block behind you, put your hand on the block or the floor. Get as vertical as possible. Inhale here, exhale, twist. So the left hand can move over to the right knee or leg, and possibly the right hand moves over to the left hip or thigh. And notice two more breaths. Inhale, get tall through the crown of your head, and exhale as you press down through the sitting bones, keep lifting up. Inhale, gaze only forward, exhale there. Inhale, carry the arms all the way up, look up. Exhale, twist to the left. Place your left hand on the block or the floor. Remember, get vertical. How tall are you? But keep your tushy on the floor. Right hand comes across to the left leg. Inhale, get tall, and exhale as you twist. Remember, you might want to bring your left arm around towards your right hip or thigh. Continue to breathe here. Take two more breaths. I forgot to put my DW sign up. One more. And inhale, gaze only forward. Exhale there. Inhale, carry the arms up, look up. And exhale, arms down by the side. Good. Do a little neck roll. So inhale, neutral here. Exhale, tuck the chin. Inhale, look neutral. Exhale, tuck the chin. Two more. Inhale, lift your gaze. Exhale, tuck the chin. One more. Inhale, lift. And exhale, tuck. Inhale to neutral. Inhale here, exhale right ear, right shoulder. Inhale center, exhale left ear, left shoulder. Inhale neutral, exhale right ear. Inhale come up, exhale left ear. One more, both sides. Inhale neutral, exhale right ear. Take your left hand to the side of your head. Feel a little engagement as you push your hand down. 
push your head into your hands. Just create a little more length through the left side of your neck. One more breath. Great. Inhale up to neutral. Exhale and release. Inhale here. Exhale left ear, left shoulder. Right hand comes to head. And breathe. So notice you're pushing your head and you're pushing your hand at the same time. You feel a little length in both sides of the neck. One more breath. Inhale brings you up. Exhale, release that. Do a little neck circle. So here, inhale, exhale, tuck your chin. Roll it to the right. Look right. Exhale, tuck your chin. Roll all the way to the left. Keep your chin near your collarbone. Look left. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck your chin. Roll it over to the right. Look right. Inhale here. One more time to the left. Exhale, tuck your chin. Roll it all the way to the left. Look left. Inhale. And exhale, tuck your chin to center and look neutral. Good. So maybe feel your neck a little movement. So let your shoulders move around a little bit. Shake all that out. All right. Seated cat cow. Today, take your legs in front of you. Commander gave me some inspiration while I was watching him teach uh, chair yoga. He's teaching uh, for Wounded Warrior Project. And these veterans are literally in chairs, so it's really pretty tremendous. Thank you, Commander. So take your knee, your your keep your knees bent. All right, hands are on your knees, maybe even behind your thighs or on your shin. Whatever's going to be comfortable for you. Okay. So take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, tuck your chin. Use some little bit of leverage here as you pull your spine away from your legs, rounding it. Look at your legs or your belly. Now inhale, pull your hands lightly into your legs, lift your chest, and spread the collarbones a little bit more. Gaze can move up. Again, exhale. This time push your hands away from you. Really push. As you draw the belly in, look it down. And then inhale as you pull yourself into the center, look up, cow pose, two more, exhale, cat pose, press your hands away from you, tuck your tailbone and your sitting bones towards your heels, inhale, pull yourself up, use your hands on your legs, look up, one more, exhale, big exhale, press away from you, look down. And inhale, pull you up to neutral, and exhale, release all that. Good. Okay. So roll on to your hands and your knees, and come into tabletop. So your shoulders are directly above your knees, your hips and your knees. Wait, your shoulders are above your wrists. Wow. Your knees and your hips are in alignment. Gaze is down. Keep your neck long. Lower your belly. Inhale, lift your heart and your hips. Cow pose. Exhale, round the spine. Cat pose. Look down or back at your knee. Inhale as you spread your collarbones. Let your sitting bones separate. Big exhale. Press your hands and your knees away from each other. Does this feel familiar with what we just did seated? Inhale as you pull your hands and your knees towards one another. Look up. Big exhale, pressing hands and knees away from each other. Look down and lift your belly. One more time here. Inhale, cow pose, spread the collarbones. And exhale, cat pose, round the spine. This is flexion. Keep it flexed and press back into child's pose. Rest your head on your hands, the floor, or a block. Allow your hips to draw back. And now your arms can be forward or back. Your knees can be together apart. So take your time and figure out what feels right for you. 
breathing here, remembering all of the options. It's only important that you rest your forehead down. Take two more breaths. One more. Deep inhale here. Exhale everything out. Inhale, walk your arms over to the right. Keep your left hip down and breathe. So once you get your torso moving to the right, possibly take your left hand to any part of your right hand wrist or arm, but continue to press your sitting bones back to your heels. And just feel whatever's happening in that twist and the lateral movement. Take two more breaths. Remember, the left hip is really heavy back to your feet. One more breath here. Notice a deep inhale and a complete exhale. Inhale, take your gaze forward only. Exhale there. Now inhale, walk yourself through center. So experience center for a breath. Big inhale, reach your arms and exhale. Inhale, move you over to the left. This time keep your right sitting bones back towards your feet. And once you get yourself organized to the left, Move your right hand to maybe your left hand, left wrist or arm, and just notice a little more space in the right side of your body. Breathing here. Two more breaths. One more. Inhaling, exhale completely. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale this. Inhale as you walk yourself all the way back to center. One more time in child's pose. And maybe you see if you have a little more length in your arms, your armpits, even in your hips. Good. One more breath. Inhale brings you to tabletop. So for those of you who would like to do the sun salute here, move your legs back, curl your toes, and come into plank. Otherwise, stay in tabletop and do cat cow. So if you are in, so if you're here in tabletop, inhale, cow pose, exhale, cat. For those of you who move to plank, inhale and plank, and exhale, lower yogi push-up are all the way down. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, takes you back to downward facing dog. Everybody make their way into tabletop. Neutral spine, look down. Prepare for thread the needle. Inhale your right arm out to the side. Go ahead and look at it. Exhale, pull your arm underneath you. Reach it all the way over to the left. Now rest your shoulder or, in your, or your head on the floor or the block, whatever, the, whatever works for you, but make sure that's rested. Keep both knees grounded, and then if you'd like, inhale your left arm up and take it around your back, or you can keep your hand where it was. Always remember, this is your practice as you listen to your body and feel your breath. Good. Two more breaths. Feeling this twist through the upper spine. And one more. Beautiful. Hands down. Inhale, reach the right arm out to the side. Take a look at it. And exhale the right hand down. Lower your belly. Inhale, look up. Lift your heart. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, back to neutral, left side. Thread the needle, inhale, left arm out. Look at the hand, exhale, pull the arm through and over to the right. 
So supporting the shoulder, the head, on something, and breathe. If you'd like, inhale the right arm up, and exhale and take it behind you. So awareness of your breath and a twist. Noticing the low belly still engaged, supporting your back, and allowing the twist through the thoracic. One more breath. Inhale the right arm up if it's somewhere else. Exhale the hand comes down. Inhale as you reach your left arm over to the left. Look at it. Exhale, release the left hand back into tabletop. Inhale, belly down, chest up. Exhale, spine up. Look back or underneath you. And press back into child's pose or downward facing dog. You're in down dog, curl your toes, lift your hips, and bend your right knee, lifting through the left sitting bone. And switch. Left knee bends, right hip lift. And switch. And one more time to switch. For those in down dog who want to do the sun salute, again, inhale, come to plank. Notice the plank, draw the low belly in. Exhale, bend your elbows by the ribs. This is yogi push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. Hips lift and draw back. Inhale, brings you forward to plank. Exhale, lower your knees. So, setting up tiger pose. Ruddy goose. Got lots of things. Inhale, the right arm forward by your ear. The palm faces to the left. Inhaling your left leg back. Curl the toes underneath. Keep your foot on the floor or inhale, lift your leg. So you can choose to stay right where you are here, or inhale that right arm out to the right, left leg moves left. Noticing your breath, draw the belly in, gaze is down, one more breath, and inhale, reach forward and back, lengthen. So feel that length of energy from the heel back and the fingertips forward, bend your left knee and push your heel up to the ceiling. So stay there. Or reach back, point your toes, and then kick your leg away from you into a half bow pose. So that's up to you. Think about lifting through the chest by kicking the foot into the hand. And gently release that. Extend long first. Inhale. Exhale, elbow knee tuck. Inhale to reach. Exhale, tuck underneath belly. One more, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hand and knee come down. So in tabletop here, lower your belly, inhale, look up, exhale, round. One more time, inhale, and then exhale. Good, other side. So inhale, the left arm forward, send your right leg back, curl your toes underneath, and then choose to stay here or inhale, lift your leg. If you would like, inhale your arm, left leg moves right, and breathe. So you're just noticing the length out of your hip and your shoulder joint. Inhale, stretch forward and back, lengthen. Exhale, bend your right knee. So stand on the ceiling. You can just stay here, firing up hamstrings and glutes. Or you can reach back, point your toes, and then kick through the leg. So imagine the leg is doing all the work and the chest softens. And it opens up as you open the shoulders. One more breath. And gently release. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, tuck. Belly bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, reach. And exhale, release. One cat cow to down dog or child's pose. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Press back into child's pose or downward facing dog. If you're in child's pose, rest your head. Breathe. So for those of you in down dog, go ahead and inhale your right leg up. Open your hips. So that means lifting your toes to the ceiling and allowing the right hip to move over to the right a little bit. 
as it lifts up. Bend your right knee, squeeze your heel over to your left hip, and just allow that stretch from your armpit all the way to the knee. And straighten the legs. Reach back through the heel. You want to add a little bit of strengthening here. Inhale forward to plank. Keep your right heel pushing back. Your leg is lifted off the floor. And if any of you want to sneak in a little sun salute, exhale lower, inhale lift, exhale down dog. Otherwise, just press back into downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up. Open the hip. Reach through the toes to the ceiling, allowing the front of the left hip to lift and move a little to the left. Bend your knee, squeeze your heel over into your right hip. And now feel the stretch on this side. So all the way really from the wrist through the arm, armpit into the knee. Square your hips up, push your left heel back. Those that want to do the sun salute, inhale, come forward to plank. Set your foot down or keep your foot lifted. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And everybody, exhale into downward facing dog if you want. Otherwise, come right into tabletop. So from downward facing dog, when you get there, lower your knees and set up side plank. All right, so side plank. Right leg long. Curl the toes. Turn the heel to the left. So you can stay right here. This is beautiful. Reach the right arm up and breathe. You can float your right leg, and you can also extend your right arm over your ear. So if that's enough for you, stay there. But maybe you want to take your right foot down and pick your left foot up and point your left toes in front of your right toes, keeping your hips lifted. And then release all that. Knee comes back down to the floor. Release back into tabletop. Take one cat cow, belly down, inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, neutral, and set up the other side. So the left leg goes long. Curl the toes, turn the heel to the right. Stay here supported with the left arm up and breathe. If you're going further, inhale, reach the arm over the ear as you float your leg. So just notice the length of your side body. Both, both sides stay long. And if you want to go somewhere else, lower your left foot and pick up your right knee. Point your toes over in front of your left foot and breathe. One more breath. And everybody release right back to tabletop. Inhale as you look up, exhale round, press the child's pose or downward facing dog, rest your forehead if you're in child's pose. Noticing the breath. Good, two more. And one more. Okay, come back into if you're in down dog and you want to do a sun salute, go ahead. Everybody come to your tummy. Take your time. So you're all the way on your belly. Okay. Arms reach forward. Palms face each other. Point your toes behind you. You might notice you have big toe and baby toe down on the floor. One more breath here. As you prepare for sphinx pose, slowly slide your elbows toward you until they arrive maybe directly underneath your shoulders or forward. It all depends on your low back. Spread the fingers wide. Pressing down through the fingertips to the elbow and the forearm. That is where the power is here. All isometric movements from just the forearm allows you to move your spine in towards the front of your body and breathe. So you want to soften the shoulders. The neck is pretty neutral. Stay here. You can come all the way down and rest on your forehead if you would like. And you can also bend your right knee. 
squeezing the heel into the hip. You can reach back and press the foot into the hip if you want with your hand. It's entirely up to you. Just keep your chest lifting. And for some of you, you want to keep your ribs on the floor so the lowest part of the rib cage remains down. And gently release your foot. Go back into sphinx pose. So just notice neutral here. All right, then the other side, if you're doing that, squeeze the left heel into your butt. You can reach back with your hand to press it closer, or you can just leave it here and breathe. You can also be laying down on your forehead. Great, one more breath here. And gently let that go, okay. So back into Sphinx Pose. Remember your options, rest or stay in Sphinx. You can also move into Forearm Plank. Push your, curl your toes, push your heels back, lift your thighs, then your hips and ribs. So you're in one long line. Yeah, your butt, your shoulders, the back of your head are all on the same plane. And if you really want a little more information, you can start to walk your feet towards your elbows. This is dolphin. Let your face come towards your fingers. Breathe here. And then take your time, walk it back, and take all the way down to your tummies again. Hand over hand, forehead down, shake it out, wiggle, wiggle. Bend your knees, inhale, legs right, exhale left, inhale right, and exhale left. Inhale neutral, release your legs. Bring your legs all the way together, toes point, big toe, baby toe down. Slide your hands so they're on the outside of your chest, the middle fingers in line with the center of your chest, and squeeze your elbows in towards the ribs and then towards your feet. Cobra, inhale, lift you up, lighten your hands, exhale, brings you down, use your legs, strong legs, inhale as you lift it up, exhale, carries you down, one more time, inhale and lift, breathe here, so you're just lifting, because you're lifting from the front of your body, using your back muscles, you can take your arms to the key, you can clasp your hands behind you, you can also place your hands on your lumbar to feel the support. Exhale and rest. Wiggle all that out. Let it go. Hand over hand. Bend your knees. Inhale, legs left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, center and release your legs. Pull the toes. Hands under shoulders. Inhale up to plank. Exhale, child pose or downward facing dog. Breathe here, you decide. If you're a down dog, feel free to do your walking of the dog if that feels right for your back. Everybody take three more breaths wherever you are. One more. For those of you who want to do the sun salute, go ahead. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale, carries you back. Everybody walk forward to your hands. Your feet arrive, hip distance apart. Bend the knees. Rest your forearms on your thighs. Look down. So you are the chair now. Keep the low belly in. If you want, you can stay right where you are. You can also fold forward, release your head, hands down as you straighten your legs more. Entirely up to you. What you feel is good for your body. Breathing here. Two more breaths. And one more. Wherever you are, slight bend in your knees. Hands come to shins or thighs. Inhale, straight arms look out. Exhale there. Inhale, come all the way up as you stand up. Add your arms, gazes up. 
And exhale, take your arms down by your side. Good. All right, I have to make slight camera adjustments. So standing in mountain pose, action through the legs, the arms are long, the fingers press down, the crown of the head reaches up, upwards. Gaze is neutral in front of you. Keep drawing the small belly in. Good. Palms face forward. Inhale the arms out wide and up. Feel free to look up if your neck allows. Exhale, carry the arms down. Remember, you're moving water. So really strong arms. Again, inhale. Reach the arms out wide enough. Look up. Exhale, arms down with control. One more time. Inhale, reach out wide enough. Keep the ribs down. Remember, we did this laying down. Good. Now hold on to the left wrist. Inhale, get taller through the left side. And exhale to the right. So bring your focus on your feet. Bend your knees slightly. Push into your feet as you straighten your legs, connecting down to the ground. Good. Two more breaths here. Reach a little bit more with the right arm than the left. And one more. Excellent. Inhale, come up to vertical. Exhale, arms down with control. Palms face forward. Inhale, reach the arms out wide enough. Gaze up. Now hold on to the right wrist. Once you get there, pull with the right arm. Bend the knee slightly. Exhale over to the left. So I keep my knees bent for a moment as I press down through the feet, as I straighten through the arms and the legs more, I can feel the whole lateral side stretch. Good, keep the low belly in. Draw the shoulders down behind you. Good. Inhale to vertical. Exhale, arms all the way down with control. So standing back then, remember, you can just simply look up at your ceiling. You can rotate your shoulders underneath you so your chest lifts up and you feel that happening in your upper spine behind the shoulder blades. You can also take your hands to the lumbar spine to support it as you feel the back bend is happening for you. So take your time and into your back bend. And remember, if you stop breathing, you've gone too far and come up. Only important that you're breathing as you go back. Now take two more breaths. What happens if you press down into your feet more, lift the front of your hips up, and then allow your elbows to come with you. Yes. Beautiful. Take your time. Use the belly. Inhale. Come all the way up to standing. Once you get to the top, slight bend in your knees. Become the chair again as you slide your forearms down your thighs and pause. So breathe here. Just look forward. Now you decide. Do you want to stay here? Or would you like to fold forward more, releasing your head hands down? It's entirely up to you. Breathing here. Remember at the bottom of every exhale, draw the low belly in. Take one more breath. Place your hands on your shins or your thighs, slight bend in your knees. Inhale, straight arms look out. Exhale there. Inhale, stand up. Add your arms to this. Reach out wide and up. And exhale, arms all the way down with control. Good. Shake that out. Let it go. All right. So take your arms out wide to the seat. Reach your arms in front of you and take the right arm down lower than the left. Hug yourself. So now you can stay here in this hug. You'll notice how my elbows cross over on top of each other. This is eagle arms. If you release the forearm, 
As they reach towards each other, they may just want to press the back of the hands together. But you can also possibly rotate and bind the forearm. Feel the stretch behind your shoulders, right? So from here, round your upper spine, just the upper spine. See if you can do just behind the shoulder blades. And you can feel the stretch even more, right? Good job. Inhale, get tall. Now as you stand up, you feel you have a little more space here. You can maybe even lift the elbows up and pull the hands away from you. Excellent. And gently release, shake all that out. Good. Okay. Nice. You feel a little bit of blood flow through the shoulders? Yeah. All right, arms out wide to the T again. Reach out really wide apart, and as you bring them forward, the left arm will be lower than the right. Take your first big hug. Even walk your hands back. I like to walk my hands back almost towards my scapula, my shoulder blades. Then, as you're ready, release the forearms and let them start to come towards each other. You just want to gauge where are you. Maybe the hands stay apart. Maybe the back of the hands come together. Or maybe you do the binding of the forearms. So once you feel that, same thing, and you just flex the upper spine. So imagine that the sternum, the center of your chest, moves behind you, and you broaden through the upper back. Yeah, keep the low belly in. Good. Take one more breath. Feel what's happening behind your shoulder blades. Excellent. Now come up to stand. Let the shoulder blades descend. And now notice you have a little more lift through the elbows and can the hands move away at all. Just what's happening through the shoulders. Excellent. And gently release all that and shake it out. Good job. Okay. All right. Take your feet wide apart. Heels out. Toes in. Stance is wide. If you like to have a block, go ahead. Put the block in between your feet. Okay. Arms out to the T. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Now squeeze your elbows back, slight bend in your knees, hinge at the hip joint as you fold forward. When you're ready, take the hands to the block or the floor. It's up to you. Once they're on the floor and you have support, straighten your legs. Inhale, look forward. Now as you twist, the left hand will remain down under your nose and inhale, the right arm comes up. So just allowing the twist to the right. Pull your left sitting bone behind you over to the left. Two more breaths. And one more. Inhale, look down. Exhale there. And inhale, unwind. Take your right hand where your left hand was. Inhale, the left arm up and twist to the left. So once you feel the twist happening, pull the right sitting bone back behind you. Little bit, just a tiny bit to the right as you feel the twist to the left happening. Breathe here. Just noticing it's happening in the upper spine rather than in the lower spine. Inhale, gaze down. Exhale there. Inhale, unwind you. Both hands are on the floor or the block now. Once you get there, inhale, look out. Long spine. Exhale there. If you want, slight bend in your knees. Hands come, come to hips. Inhale, roll up to standing. Shake that out. Let it go. And then bring yourself right back into a wide-legged. Heels out, toes are in hands to the hips. So this is so you understand you're vertical here. Keep your torso vertical. Turn just the right toes out to the right and begin to bend the right knee. Keep your torso upright as you're moving into warrior two. Lift your arms to the T and bring your knees to your right fingers. So activate the arms, pull the triceps up. If that sounds weird, think about pulling your arm bones into the arm pit and lift all the muscles into the arm pit. Good. Lower the left arm down, reverse warrior. Inhale the right arm vertical. So begin here. 
and exhale, reach up and over laterally to the left. But continue to bend the right knee. In fact, the more you can bend the right knee, you might feel a little more length on the right side of your body. Great, one more breath. Inhale brings you right back to warrior two. Really strong legs here, pull your feet together. Exhale, bring the forearm to your thigh. This is extended warrior. Look at your palms, bring your gaze to your ceiling. Inhale, bring your left arm up and over your ear. So now the pinkies turn down just so slightly. Gaze maybe at your hand. You can look down, you can look at me. Breathe here. So now just check in, how much weight down is in your right arm? Can you lift a little weight up by just floating the right arm a moment? Excellent, inhale, come right back to warrior two. Straighten the right leg, turn the right foot in, hands back to your hip, and now turn your left foot out. Again, notice, see, this is my tighter hip, so I'll tend to bring my right hip forward. I keep back here so I'm knowing what's happening in my body, bend the left knee, and now lift your arms to the T, warrior two. So make sure your low belly is engaged, your tailbone is down, reach through the arms, so pull them in, reach out the fingertips. Notice how my knee, left knee is directly over the ankle bone, exhale the right arm down, inhale your left arm vertically. Prepare for reverse warrior. As you lengthen both sides of the weight, I want to lengthen the right side of me, too, as I'm reaching over to the right. And breathe. Legs are active. Pull your feet together. One more breath. Beautiful. Inhale right back into warrior two. Exhale, bring the forearm to the thigh. Look at the palm. Inhale, look at your ceiling. Extend the right arm up and over your ear. Pull your feet together, but continue to bend the left knee. Breathe here. All right, time to check in how much weight's in the left arm. Floating the arm. And inhale right back to warrior two. Straighten the left leg, turn both toes to face forward. Hands on your hips. And maybe jump your feet together. Shake it out. Good job. All right, so, because I'm late, I'm always late, right, everybody knows me, and just come down. So those of you who want to um, take a sun salutation, you always have that option to do that. However, however you choose to get where you're going, left knee's down, right foot is forward, okay? So that's where you will end up at. You can do it from a sun salutation, or you can just move yourself there. Left knee down, right foot is in a short lunge. Okay. If you want blocks, you have your blocks on either side of your right foot, and the blocks are somewhat in line with your right toes, more or less. Okay? Right. So just take your time and get all that organized. Okay. Now, Come up and stand on your knee and your foot. Take your hands to the outside of your left, of your right side as you feel this twist. Now you can stay here, or you can inhale your left arm up, exhale, hook it to the outside of your right thigh, stack your hands and keep twisting. You can continue to stay here and curl your left toes underneath you as you push your heel away from you. So whatever variation works best for you, this is about a twist. One more breath. Inhale, look down, exhale there. Take your time, unwind your twist, place your hands on the block. Now walk your right foot out so you can push your heel forward. Keep your legs straight and exhale, fold over your right leg and breathe. Now it's about your hamstrings and your calf and Achilles. You can rest your forearms on your block and allow your body to rest. Take one more breath. 
and inhale, look forward, exhale there. Walk your hands back to the block, take your right leg back. For those of you who want to do a sun salute, go ahead. Otherwise, just move your left foot forward between your blocks. Okay. Take your time and get organized. And once you feel ready, stand up on the right knee and the left foot. Okay. Hands move to the outside of the left side. And breathe. Take one more breath. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, hook the elbow to the outside of the thigh as you're going there. Stack your hands. If you want, curl your right toes underneath and extend to the leg. Remember, listen to your body. Move what makes sense for you. Good, take one more breath. Inhale, look down. Exhale there. Inhale, unwind yourself. Hands to the block. Walk your left foot forward. Push your heel out. Draw your toes back. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, fold forward. And resting the forearms on the block. Releasing your head and neck if possible. Whatever is good for you. One more breath. Good. Inhale, look up. Exhale there. Place your hands back on the block to come out of this. For those of you who are ready, just have a seat. If you want to do the sun salute, go ahead to do that. To seated. Once you get to seated, extend your legs in front of you for staff pose. Heels out, toes are up. Sit tall through the crown of your head and place your hands on the floor outside of your hips. Breathe here. Good. Make sure you have your strap nearby. In a moment. Good. One more breath. Keep getting taller through the crown of your head. So your thigh bones are pressing down. Like they're almost pushing through the hamstrings down. Pull your legs into the hip joints. Good. So if you have your strap, go ahead and get your strap. Put your strap on the soles of your feet. Get tall. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the elbows as you start to fold. Your focus is on how long your spine is rather than how close your head is to your leg. Good. Take two more breaths. Just feeling the length behind you. This is called intense west stretch. Inhale, look up, lift your heart. Exhale there. Now hold on to the strap with your left hand or hold your right foot or leg. Inhale the right arm out and twist. Breathing here, twisting through the upper spine only. One more breath. Inhale, gaze only forward. Exhale there. Inhale, unwind you. Hold the strap now with your right hand. Inhale, the left arm out and twist. Breathe here. One more breath. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale there, and inhale, unwind. So one more time into your forward fold. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, fold. And just notice you might have a little more space. And it may be the same space. Everybody is different. Two more breaths. And one more. Inhale to look up. Exhale there. Inhale, sit all the way up. Now take both hands under your knees. Take your feet wider than your mat. Keep your knees bent. Allow your torso to come forward. If you have forward movement of your torso, straighten your legs a little bit more. That's entirely up to you. 
So however that is for you. And breathe. So it's really nice. Once you're ready, inhale, get tall. Exhale, fold forward. Rest your head on a block. Let your torso rest here. The block can be whatever height works for you. If you're all the way flat, that's okay too. Be there. So decide what works for you. Can you release your neck? Two more breaths. And one more. Inhale, look up. Exhale there. Inhale, come all the way up. Now take your hands under your knees and let your feet come all the way together. Open your feet out like this like books, open your knees out wide, this time same thing, inhale, get tall through the spine, exhale, hinge forward, but notice that the spine is tall, so again, if you want, you can use a whole array of blocks, holding forward, resting your head, allowing your hips to soften out, breathing here. Think of length in the spine. Great. One more breath. And inhale, look up. Exhale there. Unwind all of that. Take your time and recline onto your back for bridge pose. So as you come onto your back, make sure if you want something behind your neck, you use that behind your head. And if you like your blocks to do blocks with supported bridge, that's a great way of doing bridge also. So remember, it's all about your legs. So inhale your legs up. Let the weight of your legs ground your sacrum. And you'll feel you'll have your cervical spine curve, your lumbar spine curve. It's just lightly off the floor, maybe, maybe it's on the floor, it's okay. But the sacrum is really grounded. Then bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, hip distance apart, near your hips. Okay. So the work is happening through the legs and the feet. When you're ready, inhale lifts you up for bridge. You can hold the outsides of your mat, pulling it apart as you lift up. You can take the block behind your sacrum and lay on it like this and rest. You can also stay bridge without a block behind here and use the strength of your legs. Entirely up to you. Wherever you are, there's three more breaths. And one more. Inhale and exhale, release yourself down, vertebra by vertebra, starting in the top of the neck, all the way down through the sacrum. Once everything's on the floor, inhale the legs vertically, back to reclining staff. Look at your feet, big exhale, reach for your feet. Keep your hips on the floor. Lift your upper spine off of the floor and breathe. The low belly is in. One more breath. And exhale. Knees come into the chest for wind-releasing pose. Squeezing the knees in. And now release the knees to the outside of the ribs for happy baby. Knees are outside the ribs, the ankle is above the knee, you can hold the feet, you can hold the calves, you can hold the thighs, you can hold nothing, whatever that is for you. Think about the sacrum staying close to the floor as you breathe. Take one more breath and release the right leg all the way down to the floor. Bring the left knee across and twist, easy, gentle twist. So again, you can use a block 
under the knee, the left knee, and look over to the left as you twist. One more breath. Inhale, look center. Exhale there. And inhale, unwind. Squeeze both knees back into the chest. Release the left leg to the floor as you draw the right knee across to the left. Inhale, look center, exhale there. Inhale brings you all the way back to center and wind relieving pose. Squeeze the knees in. Choose to stay here for alternate nostril breathing or you can roll to the right side and sit up. So if you're seated, well regardless, if you're seated or laying down, it's all good. Traditionally, you have your index middle finger down, use your thumb and ring finger. You can use opposite thumbs, opposite index fingers, or even opposite fists. Balances right left hemisphere of the brain, it reduces stress and anxiety. So three conscious breaths to begin, just noticing your breath. Feel an inhale and an exhale. Two more, noticing the inhale. Allowing the exhale. One more. Close your right nostril. Inhale through the left. One, two, three. Close left. Exhale right. One, two, three. Inhale right. One, two, three. Close right. Exhale left. One, two, three. Inhale left, one, two, three, close left, exhale right, one, two, three, inhale right, one, two, three, close right, exhale left, one, two, three, inhale left, one, two, three, close left, exhale right, one, two, Three, inhale right, one, two, three, close right, exhale left, one, two, three, inhale left, one, two, three, close left, exhale right, one, two, three, inhale right, one, two, three, close right, exhale left, one, Two, three, one more, inhale left, one, two, three, close left, exhale right, one, two, three, inhale right, one, two, three, close right, exhale left, one, two, three, release your hands, three conscious breaths, noticing the inhale, Feeling your exhale, inhaling, and exhaling. Just pure awareness that you're breathing, inhaling, and exhaling. Take your time, make your way to reclining for resting pose. Bring some support behind your knees, behind your neck if that serves you. Eyes can remain open or closed. Arms along your sides, palms can face up or down, legs together or apart. And in this space, bring your attention to the natural rhythm of your breath without any effort.
As you notice your breath, bring your attention to the length of you from crown of head to soles of feet. Notice the breadth of you across the shoulders and down the arms. And as you're ready, bring your attention to your feet. Noticing the bottom, the sides, the top. Noticing your toes. And bring your attention to how the feet connect through the ankles and how you can feel the ankles or the lowest part of your legs. And as you feel through the lowest part of your legs up to your knees, allow yourself to soften all of that as you let it go. As you bring your attention to your knees, Awareness that it's the center of your leg connects the upper leg to the lower leg. And as you move through the upper leg into the hip, noticing the hip, the front of the hip, the back of the hip, the sides of the hip, and how the hips hold the leg in place. And allow all of that to soften as you let it go. As you bring your attention to the back of your hip, awareness that it move and connect up through the spine to the back of your shoulders. And as you bring your attention to the front of the hip, Noticing the lowest part of your belly and how the front of you moves up from the hips to the belly, the thoracic, the chest, all the way to the collarbone. And how at the top of the torso is the shoulders and at the bottom of the torso are the hips. And imagine that you can feel on the inside of you in the low belly, your organs. In the thoracic, your heart, your lungs, your diaphragm. And just imagine, you can soften all of that and let it go. As you bring your attention into your shoulders, noticing the top of the arm and how they extend out through the elbows. And just like the legs, there's two lower bones that become the wrist. Carries out through the hands and to the fingertips. And allow yourself to soften those as you let them go. And noticing the weight in the back of your head gives you freedom in the neck. And as you soften your teeth away from each other, gives you freedom in your jaw. And as you rest your eyes in their spaces, it gives you freedom of your brain. And now in that space, wherever you feel your center is, simply float in that space.
Noticing your breath and feeling your heartbeat. This is the rhythm of you and just allow. If you take your time to bring your awareness to the length of you, from crown of head to sole to feet, notice the breadth of you across your shoulders and down your arms. Bring small attention to your fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. And as you connect deeper to the fingers and toes, ankles and wrists, create small movement in those spaces, lengthening through the arms and the legs. Stretching long. And very gently draw the knees into your chest. Feel free to rock a little side to side. Rolling to your right side. Pause. Resting your head on your arm. As you realize resting pose is beyond a shape, rather it's a state of being you can feel at any time in your world. With your breath in your hands, press the seated hands are at your heart center. Thanking yourselves for practicing this afternoon. Enjoy your journey. Namaste. Have a wonderful weekend and week, and I will see you next Friday. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. Bye, Linda. Bye-bye. Bye, Joanne. Thank you, Judy. You're welcome. Bye, Jim. I didn't see Patsy. Good to see you here, Tom. Judy, I sent the link to this class to the VA coordinator to distribute to our students. Okay. Oh, there may be some unfamiliar faces, but they should have a shirt on. All my people have shirts. Thank you, Dan. Yes, you rock. Do. Bye. So long. Bye. Have a great weekend.